Hello Scorpio couples and welcome to the first half of June 2019 general reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. Hope you guys are doing well and in good spirits. Scorpio, let's take a look what June has in store for you guys. Holy Spirit, show me what you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So while I'm shuffling, I want to let you guys know that there is a summer sale that I have ongoing. I have this going on until the 16th of June of this year. It's my summer sale. It uh, This is where you get half off of phone readings. Okay, so go ahead and take a look in the description box. There is a promo code, so you do get half off when it's not ex an exact science of half off, but it's about that much, okay? For those of you who are sticklers for math, okay, so it's it's approximately half off. And yes, like with any general reading, Scorpios. Let me read parts of this reading that resonate and parts that do not. Take the parts that resonate for you and feel free to leave the rest. It may be a part of someone else's story. And of course, this can go vice versa. It's like an unsaid rule of tarot. Let's get right into it. Sorrow, a lot of emotion, Scorpio. This could be how you're feeling towards someone, your partner at this current time, or someone in your life that, that's very important, someone that you absolutely love and have a very close bond with. But right now at this time, there's sorrow, confusion, maybe even some rebellion on someone's part because I feel that there is a need to make a decision about where this relationship is going moving forward. Some of you are making decisions about your career path, maybe a decision about going to school. Um, just decisions in general, it looks like, but yes, especially that. I feel, Scorpio, that your material needs are being met out of nowhere. For some of you, there could be random acts of kindness of people around you. And then I'm also seeing spiritual growth and answers that come through meditation. Some of you are definitely dealing with an um, Aries or a Leo. Positive thinking, success. But you got to be able to act on these plans. And I'm seeing a positive outcome. I'm seeing you reaping what you've sown. Okay, you're you reaping whatever it is, that, the benefits of the things that you've been putting your time and energy into. I'm even seeing a new way of thinking about things, a new way of seeing things. Now, some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. You might have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We did mention Aries, so specifically Aries is what I'm getting for some of you. Aries and Leo. And I feel like if you stick on this, stick to this path, okay, whatever this new direction that you're being taken toward with your career, some of you are still trying to get clear on that. But once you do get clear, I see you taking off. I see you winning, things moving in a positive direction, things balancing out, or this is you finding a balanced perspective on how to see certain things in your life. But yeah. Scorpio, you might have a fire sign in your life that's not feeling very enthusiastic about the relationship right now, to say the least, because I'm saying that someone here feels like they're being taken for granted or that they're being undervalued in some way. Now, some of you could be feeling, excuse me, could be feeling that way towards your job. Maybe you're feeling undervalued, overlooked in the job market. Maybe time for you to let go of logic and listen to your intuition. Some of you are more consumed about the opinions of other people. There could be people in your life that said, I told you so. Or maybe you want to go into a new direction or there's a decision that you want to make, but you fear the judgment of other people. And maybe it, this could be a circumstance where you're giving too much care about what other people think. Because I'm seeing the power really is in your hands and you can paint the future however you desire. That you're not limited. Only, the only way you're limited is by your mind and the thoughts that you think. Some of you are tattoo artists or you have some type of creativity. You could be getting a, a tattoo. Yeah, some of you may be out of sorts with your intuition, right? Maybe you feel 
like I said, you're, you're making logical decisions rather than making intuitive decisions. You're just saying pay attention to that intuition because there's definitely some type of messages that are coming through, possibly from an ancestor of yours that might be trying to get in contact with you. Someone that passed on to the afterlife. You might be feeling emotionally drained maybe financially drained. Maybe some of you Scorpios are not really taking care of yourself the way that you possibly could. You know, in the best way that you possibly could. Maybe it has something to do with health. Maybe you're feeling a bit out of sorts or out of balance with your health. Could be an Aquarius in the picture. I'm also saying a family. There could be children or a child or maybe this is a relationship with an adult and child. Maybe there's a child here that you, that says that you absolutely love this child. If that's the case, well, who wouldn't? I mean, that's a given, right? You love your children. Um, but maybe you're losing hope that the two of you can fix the situation. Some of you are waiting for, some of you may reconcile with family members at a family gathering. You could be helping, asking for uh, guidance and assistance from the universe. And Spirit wants you to know that your prayers have been heard and answered. Seeing your dreams are coming to fruition, but you've got to go after them. This is a period of confusion for some of you where you're just unsure. And be careful of people. Be careful about who you tell your secrets to. And this is not to incite any type of paranoia. This is just to keep you on high alert because, like I said, you might feel like your intuition is out of whack. So it could have something to do with the people around you. Some of you are practicing spell work. And this is not positive spell work that we're talking about. We're talking about there could be someone trying to do uh, separation spells. I don't know. I just see some dark magic going around in the situation in the scenario whether this is being done to you or you being um, doing this to other people deception okay people here that don't mean the best for you and i feel like someone has to tame someone it here is re rebellious someone's running I'm saying a need to tame, a need to stand still, or there is a standstill in a situation that you're currently in. Let's see what this about. This is about, let's see. We got a situation here where you feel like you don't have control over the waves of your life right now. Um, some of you are definitely mastering something with your career, maybe getting a master's degree. And then I'm also saying where you're just emotionally exhausted, maybe even physically exhausted from working a lot of hours. Maybe feeling a bit discouraged about situations in your life right now. But I do see you transforming and changing. Scorpio, I feel like you've been through a lot of intensity, a lot of intense emotions. And it could have had something to do with a third party, and that could be why someone is having to make a, a choice. There could be some type of choice about what trip to take, okay? Because you might be um, taking a trip or traveling, and that could be causing a lot of stress. But there's something here from childhood, maybe a childhood dream. Maybe you've known this person for quite some time, Scorpio, the one that you love, this beloved of yours. swords could definitely be an air sign and I feel like whomever this person is could be an Aquarius I'm hearing Gemini also okay Libra also that's some, some honesty it looks like you want to get down to the point someone here could have been brutally honest and made you feel like you were nothing Someone here feels invisible, like I said. But like I said, something here, there's a, there's something that keeps bringing the two of you back together. Though someone could be very disrespectful right now, and that's because someone's pretty sneaky. You may have caught your partner doing something that they had no business doing, but with the Ace of Cups, something here, maybe get again. 
or someone here is trying to make a decision about whether or not to leave their current situation and go into something because there could be two scenarios here couples here's your Gemini There's definitely love here between the two of you an undeniable beloved connection and you realize that you and your partner have the potential to move towards stability but right now you're at a standstill and maybe you're trying to reawaken the relationship but there's something here some type of choice that you're ha having to make that keep, that is that keeps stirring in your mind i'm saying mental repetition someone here may be repeating the past in their head okay and then getting in their emotions when they do and it could lead to disrespect, boundaries being crossed. Or maybe this was simply something that happened in the past where there could have been a fire sign that came between the two of you and caused a lot of conflict. There could have been, a, which could have been a third party. So I see you guys kind of settling the score, settling some type of conflict that has been keeping the two of you apart. And I feel like the two of you might be blaming one another for what went wrong in the relationship. Maybe neither one of you wants to take responsibility for what really happened. But I do feel that there is someone that... Definitely, this is like a soulmate, twin flame type of energy. Someone may be questioning whether or not they still want to work on this relationship. For others of you, the second scenario is that your partner may be trying to might have some type of hidden agenda about how to get out of this relationship and start something brand new with someone else that they feel is their soulmate. And in some cases, you are their soulmate. But someone could be rebelling, running against, running, rebelling against the fact that they know that. Someone here knows that this is meant to be, but they're just... There's something going on here. For some of you, your partner returned home. This is a reconciliation. And you're finding a way to work it out. But someone here is controlling and maybe a bit insecure about the past. Someone here could be leaving a situation. but maybe doesn't have the money or the finances to leave. Hmm, at the bottom you got the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see what's really going on here. Someone here is vain, is egotistical, controlling all about themselves selfish stubborn someone here feels that their partner is not considering the way that they feel overlooked is what i'm hearing I keep going back to the word invisible and they feel like the spark is gone someone here is dealing with someone from their past possibly an ex this is seven of swords about and because of that, someone here is not sure if they want to work on it. Maybe this was in the past. Someone wasn't sure that they wanted to work on it, right? Because there was a third party situation. Someone here could be questioning their feelings. Are they still in love? Or do they want to return to someone that they dealt with, possibly a Virgo? But there's a lack of clarity. Someone here is unsure about what's going on either with you, Scorpio, or this could be someone in the scenario questioning and maybe flirting with someone at a distance or curious about a love relationship with someone that they used to deal with in the past and for others of you the scenario is you are the past person you guys reconciled and you're trying to work out your differences but there could be a level of difficulty here because someone is second guessing a decision about wanting to work on a connection here Someone is really considering their feelings, going over their feelings again and again. 
someone is constantly thinking about someone from their past again and again and this puts the two of you at a standstill unsure about what the future holds between the two of you but yeah you might be finding out that your partner was flirting with someone else or gave an offer to someone else yeah i see that someone wants to start over again but like i said this could be the two of you starting over again after a separation others of you there's a separation happening because someone is questioning whether or not they really want to be here yeah it would be a fire sign in the picture like i was saying someone here wants to work it out and start again like i said either with you or someone else and they're keeping it quiet maybe saving their money to leave a situation but someone here feels it someone has regret about maybe something that they said something that they did and for those of you who are reconciling you begin again but I feel like one of you is reluctant to start again after something ended now with work I feel like some of you are questioning whether or not to leave a work situation that you're not happy with that you might be a bit bored with and go towards something that you're passionate about but it's like you don't trust yourself to make the right decision you may have been searching online for new opportunities and yeah now you're making um, a decision whether or not to stay in a situation where you don't feel like your heart is in it when it comes to your employment you feel like you're just going through the motions you feel like you're underpaid undervalued overlooked you feel invisible but it's like you're trying to develop the courage to leave a situation and let it go and maybe feeling a bit discouraged maybe even rebelling a bit about leaving even though you know that it's time to and that you're tired of dealing with conflict and deceitful people on the job but yeah there's just a lack of confidence about moving forward And again, for some of you with work, it has to do with the opinion of other people. Spirit says embrace who you really are. It's not about other people. This is your life to live. You have the ability to move past any hurdles, even the two of you as a couple. But it looks like someone here has to make a decision about what they want. This is a conscientious decision. And then I'm seeing a creative endeavor is on the horizon. You have the Wheel of Fortune, so I feel like there's some positive change coming in for you or the potential there to be a positive change. Some of you are having issues with car, vehicle. Your vehicle could be an issue. Maybe some of you want to leave your work situation, but you have to travel. Okay, it might be at a short distance. Yeah, Spirit is saying find a new rhythm. Use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. Yeah, see that? Excuse me, there's some type of goal here that you're wanting to achieve, Scorpio. But you may have to find a new perspective on the situation. If you're not able to get to this wheel of fortune, but ultimately this wheel of fortune plays out. Major Arcana. See how the cross watcher is feeling, Holy Spirit. Here we go. Ace of Swords in reverse. Wands in reverse. Definitely fire energy, without a doubt. Maybe even a Capricorn. Someone's still holding on to resentments from the past. For some of you that may have reunited. Someone here is stubborn, set in their ways. Still hurt, maybe even jaded about love. Constantly thinking about the past and the way that things played out. You may have told your partner to leave. You may have put them out because you found that they were flirting with someone else. 
And yeah, maybe you're feeling disconnected emotionally from your partner right now. Maybe one of you is really ready to let it go because someone here might have an addiction and it may very well have something to do with alcohol and that addiction might be coming between the two of you. Someone here could have an addiction to a third party. And you're just tired of dealing with that. You're tired of feeling like you're being stabbed in the back and someone here is feeling like they want to put an end to it. So one or both of you could be contemplating about going back to someone from your past. Or like I said, this is a reconciliation. The two of you may have reconciled in spite of all of these mixed emotions that you might be having about this. Yeah, someone here is... It's going to have been a dysfunctional relationship at some point, and that's why things fell apart. But I feel like it, it might have something to do with addictions, like I said. Someone is questioning whether or not they want to be single, right? They're questioning whether or not they want the bachelor life or they want to be with you. Could have been in the past. Maybe this was a non-traditional relationship. Someone from the outside of this relationship wants it to end. Like I said, it could be a third party. It could be an Aries. I feel like you've gone through your frustrations. You're frustrated. You're resentful toward this person because they keep trying to play games with you. I feel like they're not they're not acknowledging their, their mistakes their issue, that they're not taking a good hard look in the mirror about their own problems, their own issues. They're not wanting to face the truth of the things that they did to tear down the relationship. And so I feel like someone here wants to leave and is trying to find the courage to do so. But you've been through such a long journey with this person And it might be difficult for you to leave a situation even though you're feeling unfulfilled. So I feel like you might be moving on to some type of healing or some of you could be going to some type of a shaman. Some of you could be going into the realm of healing. You could be a healer of some sort. Some of you could be going to a spiritualist here. Yeah, now it comes down to a decision, maybe even an ultimatum. Someone here is putting their foot down and saying, hey, either you keep it up with the third party, make a decision, do you, like, you're, or you're making a decision to end it. You're saying, no more third party. I'm tired of being your second choice. Okay? I'm leaving the situation. I'm taking flight. Some of you could literally be taking a flight somewhere. Someone is traveling, leaving. Someone is saying, I'm done. I'm done. I can't take this even anymore. And someone decides to leave the home. Someone packs their things and leaves. This is the thing. This is why there's two scenarios. You're being pulled in two directions, some of you. It's very difficult for you to leave this relationship. Because for some of you, you know, even though this is your soulmate, that this relationship is just full of drama, full of too many ups and downs. Yes, a, a normal relationship goes through ups and downs, but you're feeling like, wow, this much? This often? Are we really doing this again? That type of thing. But I feel like something continues to draw the two of you back together no matter what. And it's like someone here just, there's this refusal to see. Someone here runs when there's problems in the relationship. It's like I, I'm seeing Peter Pan, like someone is still wearing tights, like, like a grown man wearing tights, singing fa la 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 when it's time to be serious. Right, and to have serious talks in the relationship. It's like their mind isn't there. They're just vacant. 
they're not hearing anything that you have to say. So you might be feeling like sometimes this relationship is a waste of time, but that love and that hope that the two of you can overcome this period of confusion and regret is kind of like the glue that holds the two of you together. But it looks like someone is at their wit's end and because they're at their wit's end, they're saying some very disrespectful and hurtful things. But I feel like some of you might continue to work on it and others of you leave the situation. And for some of you, this might be an abusive relationship where this person puts hands. Mm -hmm. Some of you are confused about how to leave a situation, how to transition from a long-standing relationship with a soulmate to beginning, starting completely over and starting fresh. But when you have the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like there's a fresh new perspective of the way that you might see things. Some of you may work it out and others of you, it looks like you go your separate way and you let this go because you're just not happy here. Feeling, you're not feeling like you could flourish in this relationship. You're not feeling like you can be yourself. You're not feeling nurtured or protected or loved. You feel ignored like I've been saying all along. And for some of you, you're definitely leaving a work relationship because you're fed up. You're ready to end it. And with you ending something with work, it looks like you go on to some type of celebration. Now, some of you could definitely be looking for work in your spare time, maybe even looking for work while you're on the job. Because it's just gotten that intense and that difficult. And the heat is on. There's a lot of friction at home, maybe even at the job. And maybe some of you are like trying to <sighs> escape home and bury yourself in your work and find out that just your work isn't working out either. Some of you, excuse me, might be putting the putting final touches on a project, finishing up a degree, finishing up an idea. But yeah, you feel like you're you're not getting the attention that you deserve in this relationship and you're just trying to to find the strength to move on from an unhappy situation. And you just keep thinking about it and thinking about it. You, Some of you, like I said, you fear the opinion of other people. But ultimately, it comes down to your choice. This is your life to live. Someone here is re avoiding responsibility. Someone here feels exploited. And yeah, someone is moving on to someone that where they can they feel like they can be nurtured and cared for and paid attention to and for others of you this is that relationship where the two of you have come back and tried to recover it pay attention to the red flags definitely some red flags here that has you at a standstill. Like I said, two scenarios. Ah, reconciliation. For some of you, this is the two of you reconciling after a difficult time, where the two of you are rebuilding after a very tumultuous time. And others of you, you're reconnecting with someone from your past that you're considering reconciling with. So you've known each other before. Be someone where there's children and yes once again addictions some of you feel like you're doing everything by yourself and I'm saying no let your friends help you and you're leaving some of you are reconciling to leave with someone that you feel is the one and others of you left a third party to reconcile with the one that you know is meant for you and this is your true love and maybe it took a separation for you to realize just how much you do love this person. So I'm seeing sweetness and synergy, finding a way to bring the sweetness back into a relationship or going into leaving a current situation that you're unhappy and where you feel invisible and overlooked 
to be with someone that makes you feel nurtured, someone that cares for your well-being and, and reawakens this part in you that's been stifled and pushed down. All right, so on to the advice. Holy Spirit, what is the advice for Scorpio couples? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Quiet time. Take some quiet time to alone, to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Right? Not about making any rash decisions. Take some time to think about what it is that you really want. For some of you, your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. See, this is the thing with the Wheel of Fortune, you can't go wrong. Karma is leading you in a new direction. For some of you, this is a separation of a relationship. A household situation is improving either through a move, especially if this was like a physically, um, a relationship where there's physical violence. Some of you could be moving away out of a situation that's just been very dramatic and difficult and trying. Others of you, this is a relationship of people revolving and coming back together to work on the relationship and to try to rebuild and salvage what might be left. So it just depends on what side of the spectrum that you're on that will determine how this resonates. So that's what I have for you, Scorpios. I hope that this reading has been helpful to you in some way. But again... Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so everything here, the way that things play out, the details, things may be different for everyone. So the only way to know what the outcome would be for your own situation is to book a personal reading. And again, I do have a special ongoing on my website, uh, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. The link is below in the description box, including the promo code. Also, there is a, I believe it's a 40 second, vid, 14, pardon me, 14 second video um, on my channel um, that shows the promo codes, okay, and shows the details of the sale. If you have any questions, you can email me, but just know that emails sometimes get caught in the shuffle and that I may not answer emails as quickly as some people may prefer me to. With that said, guys, I hope that everything... Um, plays out well for you. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.